Welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and in this video we are going to discuss the question find the highest number right so the question says that you have been given an array you have been given an array right the array follows a property that is the array elements can be in the strictly increasing order first option is that the elements can be in strictly increasing order or the second option is they can be in strictly increasing for some part of it that is for the initial part of it they can be strictly increasing then afterwards they are followed by strictly decreasing they are followed by strictly decreasing such example is this one as you can see one it is increasing 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 up till here and after that it is decreasing this is for increasing part and for 10 to 4 this is decreasing so this is an example of the second option and first option is clearly simple 1 2 3 4 5 is an array which is strictly increasing right this is an example of strictly increasing right now the task that the question asks you is to find me the highest element the highest element that is the maximum element present here the maximum element present here see if this would have been present like if this was the only condition that the array is only strictly increasing i could have easily said that the uh, if the array is strictly increasing that, that that means that array is sorted array is sorted in that case return last element return last element that is n minus 1 th index and minus one of the index right but second thing actually creates some complexity right actually creates some complexity right so what is the brute force approach what is the brute force approach the brute force approach remains same i will traverse for n, n operation i will traverse for n operation i will traverse for the array right and find out the maximum and find out the maximum and find out the maximum that is i will say for i equals to 0 till n minus 1 what will happen maximum equals to max of existing maximum with my array of i right and after this i will get my answer as maximum so return maxi the problem here is that it is taking o of n time complexity with o of 1 space right i want to reduce it i want to optimize it further see o of n time is actually a good greater time but I am able to see that I have to find the maximum, I have to find a maximum and the array given to me, array given to me is somewhat sorted, is sort of sorted, like is somewhat sorted, not exactly sorted but there might be chances that I can arrange it into sorted order, right. So for example, the array given to me is 1, 2, 3, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, right I, I want to find the highest element in this array right okay whenever you want to find any you want to search right whenever you see search and you see that the array is following some type of sorted path that means you will have to go through binary search it ob obviously means binary search right 99.9% .9 chances say that you have to use binary search here right you have to use binary search so what will happen binary search has a simple formula low here high here calculate your mid let me mark the indexes so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so low plus high by 2 that is mid equals to low plus high by 2 that is 0 plus 9 by 2 that is 4.5 that is integer is 4 so my mid is actually here my mid is actually here now the binary search works on two bases first is this one mid equals to low plus high by 2 second is either remove left part either remove left part or right part or right part now you will have to judge which you will have to choose you will have to judge which, you, uh, which way you want to go now my operation is exactly simple my operation is exactly simple see the given cooperation says me that the strictly increasing array would look something like this if I plot the array points on the graph strictly increasing array would make a graph something like this right a simple slanting line with a positive slope but a sing strictly increasing decreasing graph can give me something sort of this right right something sort of this talking about this first now if my let me yeah. if my mid is present here or here or here right i can just i can just see that if my mid is less than my mid plus one if my mid is less than my mid plus one that is my highest point is actually lying in this half right suppose this is my mid so I can say if my mid is less than my mid plus one that's suppose then obviously my low equals to 
mid plus one for my next iteration that is my approach right there is no problem in this but what about this one there are three possible cases here my mid is lying here my mid is lying at the verge or my mid is lying here right or my mid is lying here now this option states that my mid is greater than my mid plus one and my mid is greater than my mid minus one in that case i can simply say my highest is reached my highest is reached i have my answer answer is mid right but if it, if that is not the case what will happen if this is here again this is the case of this so i can actually check with the mid plus one and here i can actually check with the mid minus one if mid minus one is greater i will say high equals to mid minus one if my mid plus one is greater i will say low equals to mid plus one if none of them is greater i will return i will say my answer is lying at the mid my answer is lying at the mid that's all matter finish right so what will my code look like see i don't want to explain explain it more, more much further and make the video boring i know that you have understood it so i will say int low equals to zero high equals to n minus one i will initialize my answer here as minus one right is that is the minimum value possible because it has been given that the array elements are actually greater than equals to one it has been given in the constraint you can check now what will i say i will say while my low is less than equals to high what will i do for this case i will calculate my mid that is mid equals to low plus high by two right after that i will see if my array of mid is less than array of mid plus one my array of mid is less than array of mid plus one but is this condition always true will this give segmentation fault somewhere will this give segmentation fault this somewhere yes it will give segmentation fault when when will, when will it, it give segmentation fault when mid plus one is out of bound so i will have to make a case first that if my mid is at zero or my mid is at n minus one so i will write it down first so i will say if my mid equals to equals to zero in that case do you have no option first update your answer so after updating your mid you will say answer equals to uh, max of existing answer with array of mid right to get the maximum possible right now if my mid is equals to equal to zero that is in the only thing you can do is low equals to mid plus one you don't have any other option in hand right similarly else if your mid is equals to equals to n minus one in that case high equals to mid minus one high equals to mid minus one that's all now remaining cases between suppose this is my zero this is my n minus one that means mid is lying somewhat from 1 to n minus 2. I can usually check with the previous and the next for every time, right? So I will say if my array of mid, I will say else if sorry, if my array of mid is less than array of mid plus 1, that is a uh, larger value is present on the right. So I will usually, no, I will perfectly uh, increment my low, low equals to mid plus 1. Else, that is not the case. So I will say else high equals to mid minus 1 that's all again this this operation will give you the answer in your answer variable and you can after the while loop you can simply return your answer and this is a simple binary search there is some modification in it other than that it is perfectly fine so i will just return my answer and my time complexity will be o of log n so it is logarithmic time complexity with o of constant space complexity right so let us move to the codes now Alright guys, so here we are in the coding section. Before starting to code, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and because it gives me a lot of motivation, right? So let us start with the code. I will first declare int low as 0. My high is n minus 1, that is a dot size minus 1. Now my answer is initialized as minus 1. Now while my low is less than equals to high, that is binary search template, I will say int mid equals to low plus high by 2. Now I will update my answer. So answer equals to max of existing answer with array of mid, right? Now moving forward, if my mid is equals to equal to zero, simply low equals to mid plus one. Else if my mid equals to equals to n minus one, in that case high equals to mid minus one, right? High equals to mid minus one. Else if, if that is not the case, that is not the edge case, right? So I will say if array of mid is less than array of mid plus one right that means my answer lies in the right half so low equals to mid plus one i will eliminate my left half for that else only option left is high equals to mid minus one and let us now return your answer right return the answer this code should run fine let us try to compile and run it hope it will work fine 
in the meantime do consider to subscribe to my channel there has been some mistake and was not declared yeah it will be a dot size minus one right let us try to compile it on it now Okay, so it is running fine. Let us try to submit it as well. As you can see, the counter is going up and we have got our submission. So 155 days stay, guys. Thank you for watching and we'll meet tomorrow with a new question. Till then, please keep coding and stay safe. Bye-bye.